Before I explain this question, you should absolutely save this for your next revision. This is number 10, the hardest question in PSLE and I'm going to explain how to write the answer. So first, as I always mention, analyze and annotate, analyze and annotate, analyze and annotate, you will score. Using the information in the question, remember that the question is your best friend, I'm going to first explain how the solid waste uh, was able to flow into the pipe. So we are going to say that the hot oil was poured into the sink and flow through the sink protector into the water pipe. The second part is about how the solid waste is formed and as we all know, it's about heat loss. The hot oil loses heat to the water in the water pipe, changes its state to solid waste. Over time, more solid X uh, was formed and accumulated in the water pipe. So there you go. That is the total answer and it's actually quite straightforward. Let's go to the next question. is an excellent example that the question is your best friend because the information in the question absolutely helps you to answer part A. So they ask how the location of the nest helps fungus in its growth. So we all know that fungi are decomposers and they need three things, water, oxygen, warmth. Wow! So the question says that this is a sunny part of the forest. So therefore, warmth, this condition is met. Second, they say that it's moist soil. So the second condition, that there is moisture, that condition is also met. So that my answer must say what do fungi need in order to grow well. So therefore, my answer should be fungus will grow well when there is water, warmth and oxygen and they also grow well in dark places. And these conditions can be found in the nests which are favorable to the growth of fungi. For some students, you may have forgotten that favorable is actually a keyword that you learn under interactions within the environment. Who use this keyword favorable? Remember it, memorize it, learn how to spell it, it is a very useful word, especially under this topic, interactions within the environment. For the second part, the challenging part is actually the food relationship between the young of insect pea and the fungus. But the question is indeed our best friend because the information is already provided there. It says that the young of insect pea feeds on fungus L. So that is our first benefit. And from part A, we already know that the nest is an excellent location for the fungus to grow. So the very first benefit will be when the eggs hatch, the young of insect pea will have a ready source of food. Since the nest is underground, so therefore this is the second benefit. The young of insect pea would be hidden from the predators, therefore reducing the chances of predators spotting and eating them. Hey, we've finished our less than five minutes science revision. I hope that you definitely learn something from this quick and effective revision with Teacher Joe. I will be teaching more of such PSLE questions next week in my masterclass. If you find this video useful, you definitely want to come. Details of the masterclass is right in the comments. So just click and I'll see you next week in class.